If you want to join two wooden boards together, you can cut a trapezoid-shaped hole at the joint and insert a piece shaped like a butterfly, called a bautaiki. To lock the boards together, this is the butterfly joint, but if you need to connect many boards, you'd need many of these joints, making the surface look messy. So you, being clever, realize you can carve a swallowtail-shaped groove on the underside of the boards, allowing them to slide together and interlock. But while this locks movement up, down, left, and right, the boards can still slide apart lengthwise. So you add a frame made up for border pieces, letting the sliding joints press against the frame. At each corner, you carve a 45-degree slot to insert a corner locking joint and reinforce it with a bautai key. Now you have a tabletop lock tight from all directions. Next, carve the four legs with shoulder tenons so they can join firmly to the tabletop. Then the structure becomes a square table. To make the legs even sturdier, connect them in pairs using stretcher joints at vertical pegs, combined with tenons that lift the aprons to support the tabletop. Then shape the bottom of each leg into a horse hoof style, which is not only stable, but also symbolizes good fortune and success. Congratulations if you designed the Immortals table. Named because it can seat exactly eight people. That's how it got its name. It's commonly used to host guests and hold banquet meals.